Hi, I'm Baz and in this video for Red Shark, I'm going to take you through what I bring in my bag during a documentary shoot when I'm on my own. So first off, um, I'm shooting all my documentaries on a red helium, which is filming me right now. And um, in this bag, I'm basically um, bringing all my accessories when I'm shooting, filming on my own. So I have to take into account that uh, I can quickly grab stuff that I really need and uh, that I can quickly fix things whenever something gets broken. First off, this is a Tamarack bag. Um, and in my bag, actually, one of the most important things to me is my laptop. Now, my laptop is useful for uh, multiple purposes. Uh, one of them is ov obviously offloading uh, on location. If we have a long day, I need to um, be able to quickly offload things onto an external hard drive. But the other important thing is that I can um, read my scripts. I have everything on there, and it's just really easy to sometimes check whenever we're uh, going from one location to the other. So let's now go and open it. I'll start from the most logical things first, and that's uh, the V-Log batteries. And I usually take everything from three to five uh, V-Log batteries with me uh, during shoots. And that will give me uh, at least 10 hours of recording time. So that will get me through my documentary shooting day. So I'm using the blue shapes. Uh, these ones are the smaller ones and which you can actually bring with you on a plane, every plane, so that's that's really useful. Um, what you can see that we always do is that we um, use these Velcro uh, tape on there and that's actually where on the camera where my audio uh, receiver is put so we have this like whole setup. Obviously we need a charger so I've got a Velo battery dual charger so it can actually charge whenever I'm on location. I always bring two lenses, so normally that's uh, EF mount, especially for documentary. I'm like, I like to shoot on a 2470, which gives me decent range. Still is small, so I can shoot with it all day. But I'll always bring one extra lens, so this is my 16 to 35, with the variable ND actually on there already. And this is just great, because you never know when a lens would, might even fail you. Um, and this gives me a bit of extra wide angle. I don't bring a more tele-zoom lens with me, so I usually don't bring a 70 to 200 with me, just because it's too heavy, and you see that my bag is already quite full, so that's it's just near impossible to do that. So, moving on, um, we now have actually all my tools. So I have this box that I've used from my previous red and here this is where all my tools live so everything that I need like all the screws that can get loose on the camera that I have on my whole setup um, I can fix it with these tools it's being really useful and every time I you know if you forget this that's the moment that the camera will break down or you miss a screw or something like that so I always bring this with me we have our tape might be just a simple one but I always bring two types of tape so I've got the camera tape and I've got the normal gaffer it's a bit wider tape and um, this one I use quite a lot with uh, these and these are the small aperture lights that you can actually charge by USB these are really useful. So in a lot of situations in documentary, I don't have time to really light something, but it could be really useful to have some kind of eye light, something like that. And uh, the great thing about these is that, well, they charge through USB and they have like this um, whole retractable thing where you can actually put filters in between so you can make them more orange or blue, whatever you like. Okay, so these are really, um, these are really great to uh, just have with you. So I normally carry two, and then these are easily taped with the black gaffer tape. So audio-wise, I'm only carrying my transmitters, my Saxcom transmitters, I have two, and the receiver is already on the camera, so normally that's Velcro to the, uh, the V-Logs. So let's move to this section. 
Um, I've got all my spare cables in here. So these are SDI cables, some extra power cables, uh, D-tap to, uh, to my viewfinder cables. So that lives all there. I try to take two of everything. That's almost impossible with this type of camera setup, but especially for cables, it's just so useful. Bring a second cable. It will break at some point and you feel lost. Then moving up one notch, got my, uh, my variable ND for the lens that's recording right now. Um, we've got the RED Mini Mac Reader, which is actually a lot smaller than the previous one. I've carried this with me so that I'm actually able to offload onto these. I'll be making a small review videos about these because these are really great. These are the G technology R series SSDs. It's a this is a one terabyte one. It's really fast. I can do a whole red mag of 500 gig red mag in I think 10 minutes, something like that. It's really useful. So I have that and then obviously a lens cloth and something to just clean your electronics, your lenses with. And then the last thing is just really practical. I always carry two. This might sound ridiculous, but actually two not that expensive earbuds with me, the Apple ones, and these are the Sennheiser ones, uh, so that I can easily uh, listen to what I'm recording on the camera. I don't like the big headphone things, especially if you show them mount it. So uh, these are just great. Again, two, just to make sure that if one breaks, I've got another. And the last thing is a pen, which I use normally on everything that's being taped with this. And that's about it. It's my practical setup for when I'm doing my one band, man band uh, documentary shooting. I'll use a different setup whenever I'm traveling. So I hope that I can make a video about that too. And obviously I can get that you want to see the camera setup. So I'll make a separate video on how I mount my red helium in different situations. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please tell me. Um, please like and subscribe. See you next time.